our sports director, Jim Rich, who lives in the Buffalo area, uh, just did an interview about 30 minutes ago with a woman from the Buffalo area who was dropping her mom off at the time of this shooting. And I'm wondering if we can, if we can play that interview again. Appointment there today. Uh, can you walk us through what happened next? Yeah, I pulled in. I was just getting ready to drop her off at the door, and two of the nurses came running out to my vehicle and got in. Um, they said they heard about 11 shots within a minute, and they didn't see a shooter, but uh, they assumed that's what it was. And then about two minutes later, we saw the front windows be shot out, um, and we left the scene. So what did they tell you when they got in the car? You were pulling up, did you, were you out of the vehicle at that time or were you just, I was just pulling, pulling up? up? I was just pulling up and saw them running out so I knew something was wrong. Um, and they said, oh, we heard gunshots and we need to go. So they got in and we left. And where did you take them? Uh, I took them to the other clinic um, so they could let them know what had happened. Um, yeah, let them know what had happened, and anyone could be transferred there would know what's happening. Right. It was. How crazy was it for you? I mean, you must have thought, like, wait, this is Buffalo. This <laughs> this isn't something that happens here, right? Yeah, I mean, my heart's still racing. That's where my kids go to the doctor, and I just hope they're all okay and wish I could have done more to help. When they were in the vehicle, were they upset? Were they... Uh, panicked? Were they calm? What was what was their mood like? Um, they were very scared and just wanted to get out of the place. Uh, neither of them had their phone because they ran out so fast, so I let them call their relatives and whoever they needed to get a hold of and let them know they were okay. Well, Tiffany, it was a what, uh, great uh, reason you were there to be there. Did, did you, um, did did you, you call 911 then, or how did that all go down there? Sure, Tom. Um, Yes, they came out and I said, did anyone call 911? And they said they didn't have their phones. So first thing I did was call 911. It was about, I think, 10.55 before any police or anything showed up. So. And then did you have any, uh, did they have any sense of um, how long it's been from the time you picked them up till they heard the shooting? Was it seconds, minutes? Um, I would say they were just coming out of the building as I was pulling up. So it had to have just happened. The shooting uh, they heard was coming from the back of the building and they ran out the front to me. Knowing that you were supposed to drop your mom off, your minutes, I mean. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I that. mean, we we could not even be here right now as a possibility. I mean, I was going to go drop her off at the front door and then uh, park and come get her. And within minutes, they were shooting at the front window that, you know, she could have been sitting right there. And she's has a hard time walking. So that's very scary. Did you see anybody? Did they see anybody? Did they have any idea of who it was or what? their problem was that caused them to do this? Um, they did not see anyone. They just heard about, they said 11 shots within a minute. And um, to show us that it was a shooter, you know, seeing those two front windows shot out, we knew that's what it was and that we had to get out of there. Okay, Tiffany, well, thank you so much for your time. Thank we you. appreciate it. And thank you for being so helpful and getting those nurses out of the way. It yeah, was a, like it's, you have to be very proud of what you did. Yeah, like I said, I wish I could do more. I, <laughs> they told me I couldn't go back in, so. <laughs> yeah, so that's uh, that's a story from a first-hand witness that got involved and helped out and maybe even saved some more lives here this afternoon. Back to you guys.